Welcome back to Sentence of the Day. Let's keep reading about this groundhog. Okay, the words that we can use in our sentence this week are Mr. Groundhog looked at the sky people his snow shadow. Ooh, okay, let's see what happens today. It was sunny outside of Mr. Groundhog's burrow. The people cheered and clapped. This made Mr. Groundhog nervous. He shrugged and shivered. <laughs> it was cold out there. Mr. Groundhog squinted at the men, women, and children in their warm clothes and thought of his warm winter bed. What did he look at? Well, he was looking at the men, women, and children. And Hmm, okay, I don't have the words men, women, and children, but wait, I have the word people. Could I say Mr. Groundhog looked at the people? Perfect. Okay, I'm going to add that to my notebook. I'm on the same page I was on yesterday. And I'm going to say Mr. Groundhog looked... at the, uh-oh, and people won't fit, so I'm just going to bring it down here, and that is totally okay. Mr. Groundhog looked at the people. Okay, the first thing I need to do is separate my subject from my predicate. Yeah, you guys know how to do this. I'm going to separate the who or what from the doing telling part, and I think I'm going to separate it right here because this whole sentence is about... Mr. Groundhog. So I'm going to underline my subject in red because the whole sentence is about Mr. Groundhog. Well, what about Mr. Groundhog? What was he doing? What's it telling me about him? Well, he looked at the people. Yeah. So that's my predicate. It's going to be underlined in green. Now, every sentence needs capital at the beginning and punctuation at the end. I do have a capital at the beginning and I also have a dot right there. Is that the end of the sentence, the period for the end of the sentence? No, it's just going with Mr. because that is his title. Like if you are a grown-up, you might be Mr., Miss, Mrs., Doctor, or something like that. And we just have a period beside that. I also have a capital letter right here. Do you remember why? Yeah, it's because it's his name. And I know that a name is always capitalized, no matter where it is in the sentence. Okay, now I hope I have... Oh, Miss Lime, I totally forgot my punctuation at the end. Okay, Mr. Groundhog looked at the people. That's just a telling sentence. I'm just going to put a period. Good thing I went back to check. Sometimes it's really easy to forget to put that punctuation. Okay, go ahead and pause the video now if you need more time to copy this sentence in your notebook. When you're done, add a picture now of Mr. Groundhog looking at all of the people. When everything is done, make sure you take a picture of your notebook to turn it in on Seesaw. Push that green check mark when you're done.